Welcome once again everyone to the daily Bible reading and I apologize about that. I know I did a whole video and I forgot to read chapter 21 and so we're supposed to read 21 through 23 and I totally skipped chapter 21 so I just went ahead and deleted the old video and I'm going to start over again. So I apologize about that for those of you that were watching the video just a few minutes ago. We're going to start again and we're going to start in the correct chapter. So, as always, I would like to greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and hope and pray you've put your faith and trust in Him and Him alone. All right, so we're going to try this again, and hopefully we get this right this time. Okay, so, chapter 21, and this is 21 through 23 that we're reading this evening. So, if you have your Bible, please turn along with me to chapter 21 and verse 1 said then came david to nob to ahimelech the priest and ahimelech was afraid at the meeting of david and said unto him why art thou alone and no man with thee and david said unto ahimelech the priest the king hath commanded me a business and hath said unto me let no man know anything of the business whereabout I send thee, and what I have commanded thee. And I have appointed me or appointed my servants to such and such a place. Now therefore, what is under thine hand? Give me five loaves of bread in mine hand, or what, uh, or what there is present. And the priest answered David and said, There is no common bread under mine ha hand, but there is hollow bread. If the young men have kept themselves at least from women. And David answered the priest and said unto him, On a truth, women have been kept from us about uh, these three days since I came out, and the vessels of the young men are holy, and the bread is in a manner common. Yea, thou, uh, yea, though it were sanctified this day in the vessel. So the priest gave him hollowed bread, for there was no bread there but the showbread that was taken from the from before the Lord to put hot bread in the day when it was taken away. Now a certain man of the servants of Saul was there that day detained before the Lord, and his name was Doeg, an Edomite, the chiefest of the herdmen that belonged to Saul. And David said unto Ahimelech, and is there not here under thine hand spear or sword? For I have neither brought my sword nor my weapons with me, because the king's business required haste. And the priest said, The sword of Goliath, the Philistine, whom thou slewest in the valley of Elah, behold, it is here, wrapped in a cloth behind the ephod. If thou wilt take that, take it, for there is no other save that here. And David said, There is none like that. Give it me. And David arose and fled that day for fear of Saul, and went to Ashish, the king of Gath. And the servants of Ashish said unto him, Is not this David the king of the land? Did they not sing one to another of him in dance, saying, Saul has slain his thousands, and David his ten thousands? And David laid up these words in his heart and was sore afraid of Ashish, the king of Gath. And he changed his behavior before them, and feigned himself mad in their hands, and scrabbled uh, on the doors of the gate, and let his spittle fall down upon his beard. Then said Ashish unto his servants, Lo, ye see the man mad? Wherefore uh, then have ye brought him to me? Have I need of madmen? that ye have brought this fellow to play the madman in my presence? Shall this fellow come into my house? Chapter 22 David therefore departed thence, and escaped to the cave Adullam. And when his brethren and all his father's house heard it, they went down thither to him, and every one that was in distress, and every one that was in debt, and every one that was in discontented, gathered themselves unto him, and he became a captain over them, and there were with him about four hundred men. 
And David went thence to Mizpah of Moab, and he said unto the king of Moab, Let my father and my mother, I pray thee, come forth, and be with you, till I know what God will do for me. And he brought them before the king of Moab, and they dwelt with him all the while that David was in the hold. And the prophet Gad said unto David, Abide not in the hold, depart, and get thee into the land of Judah. Then David departed and came into the forest of Hereth. When David, or when Saul heard that David was discovered and the men that were with him, now Saul abode in Gibeah under a tree in Ramah, having his spear. Uh, now Saul abode in Gibeah under a tree in Ramah, having his, his spear in his hand, and all his servants were standing about him. Then Saul said unto his servants, that stood about him, Hear now, ye Benjamites, well the son of Jesse give every one of you fields and vineyards, and make you all captains of thousands and captains of hundreds, that all of you have conspired against me, and there is none that showeth me that my son hath made a league with the son of Jesse, and there is none of you that is sorry for me, or showeth unto me that my son hath stirred up my servant, against me to lie in wait, as at this day? Then answered Doeg the Edomite, which was set over the servants of Saul, and said, I saw the son of Jesse coming to Nob, to Ahimelech, the son of Ahitub. And he inquired of the Lord for him, and gave him victuals, and gave him the sword of Goliath the Philistine. Then the king sent to call Ahimelech the priest, the son of Ahitub, and all his father's house, the priests that were in Nob, and they came, all of them, to the king. And Saul said, Here now, thou son of Ahitub. And he answered, Here I am, my lord. And Saul said unto him, Why have ye conspired against me, thou uh, and the son of Jesse, to er, in that thou hast given him bread, and a sword, and hast inquired of God for him, that he should rise against me? to lie in wait, as at this day. Then Ahimelech answered the king, and said, And who is so faithful among all thy servants as David, which is the king's son-in-law, and goeth out thy, uh, goeth at thy bi uh, biting, uh, and is honorable in thine house? Did I then begin to inquire of God for him? Be it far from me. Let not the king impute any thing unto his servant, nor to all the house of, his, of my father. For thy servant n knew nothing of all this, less or more. And the king said, Thou shalt surely die, Ahimelech, thou and all thy father's house. And the king said unto the footmen that stood about him, Turn and slay the priests of the Lord, because their hand also is with David, and because they knew when he fled, and did not show it to me. But the servants of the king would not put forth their hand to fall upon the priests of the Lord. And the king said to Doeg, Turn now, and fall upon the priests and priests. And Doeg the Edomite turned, and he fell upon the priests, and slew on that day fourscore and five persons that did wear a linen ephod. And Nob, the city of the priests, smote he with the edge of the sword, both men and women, children and sucklings, and oxen, and asses, and sheep, with the edge of the sword. And one of the sons of Ahimelech, the son of Ahitub, named Abiathar, escaped and fled after David. And Abiathar showed David that Saul had slain the Lord's priests. And David said unto Abiathar, I knew it that day when Doag the Edomite was there, and he would surely tell Saul, I have occasioned the death of of all the persons of thy father's house. Abide thou with me, fear not, for he that seeketh my life seeketh thy life, but with me thou shalt be in safeguard. Chapter 23 They, uh, then, excuse me, then they told David, saying, Behold, the Philistines fight against uh, Keilah, and they rob the threshing floors. Therefore David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go and smite these Philistines? And the Lord said unto David, Go, and smite the Philistines, and save Keilah. 
And David's men said unto him, Behold, we are be afraid here in Judah. How much more than if we come to Keilah against the armies of the Philistines? Then David inquired of the Lord yet again. And the Lord answered him and said, Arise, go down to Keilah, for I will deliver the Philistines into thine hand. So David and his men went to Keilah and fought with the Philistines and brought away their cattle and smote them with a great slaughter. So David saved the inhabitants of Keilah. And it came to pass, when Abiathar, the son of Ahimelech, fled to David to Keilah, that he came down with an ephod in his hand. And it was told Saul that David was come to Keilah. And uh, Saul said, God hath delivered him into mine hand, for he is shut in by entering into the town that hath gates and bars. And Saul called all the people together to war, to go down to Keilah, to besiege David and his men. And David knew that Saul secretly practiced mischief against him. And he said to Abiathar the priest, Bring hither the ephod. Then said David, O Lord God of Israel, thy servant hath certainly heard that Saul seeketh to come to Keilah to destroy the city for my sake. Will the men of Keilah deliver me up into his hand? Will Saul come down as they, thy servant hath heard? O Lord God of Israel, I beseech thee, tell thy servant. And the Lord said, He will come down. Then said David, Will the men of Keilah deliver me and my men into the hand of Saul? And the sword said, uh, and the Lord said, excuse me, and the Lord said, They will deliver thee up. Then David and his men, which were about six hundred, arose and departed out of Keilah, and went whithersoever they could go. And it was told Saul that David was escaped from Keilah, and he forbore to go forth. And David abode in the wilderness in strongholds, and remained in a mountain in the wilderness of Ziph. And Saul sought him every day, but God delivered him not into his hand. And David said that Saul was come out to seek his life, and David was in the wilderness of Ziph in a wood. And Jonathan, Saul's son, arose and went to David into the wood, and strengthened his hand in God. And he said unto him, Fear not, for the son of Saul, my father, shall not find thee, and thou shalt be king over Israel and I shall be next unto thee, and that also Saul my father knoweth. And they too made a covenant before the Lord. And David abode in the wood, and Jonathan went to his house. Then came up uh, the Ziphites to Saul to Gibeah, saying, Doth not David hide himself with us in strongholds in the wood, in the hill of uh, Achila, uh, Hachila, sorry, Hachila, which is on the south of Jeshimon. Now therefore, O king, come down according to all the desire of thy soul to come down, and our part shall be to deliver him into the king's hand. And Saul said, Blessed be ye of the Lord, for ye have compassion on me. Go, I pray you, prepare yet, and know and see his place where his haunt is, and who hath seen him there. For it is told me that he dealeth very subtly. See, therefore, and take knowledge of all the lurking places where he hideth himself, and come yet a, a ye again to me with the certainty, and I will go with you, and it shall come to pass that I will search him out throughout all the thousands of Judah. And they arose and went to Ziph before Saul, but David and his men were in the wilderness of Maon, in the plain on the south of Jeshimon. Saul also and his men went to seek him, and they told David. Wherefore he came down unto a, into a rock, and abode in the wilderness of Maon. And when Saul heard that, he pursued after David in the wilderness of Maon. And Saul went on this side of the mountain, and David and his men on that side of the mountain. And David made haste to get away for fear of Saul. For Saul, said, Saul and his men compassed David and his men round about to take him. But 
there came a messenger unto Saul, saying, Haste thee, and come, for the Philistines have invaded the land. Wherefore Saul returned from pursuing after David, and went against the Philistines. Therefore they called that place Selahemathlikoth. And David went up from thence, and dwelt in strongholds at En Gedi. Amen. All right, so we got it correct that time. And we just finished up chapters 21 through 23. And Lord willing, tomorrow we'll be back with uh, chapters 24 through 26. Amen. So, thank you all for watching these Bible readings. And if you uh, are just joining me, you go back and watch this in its entirety. And if you know anybody that doesn't have Facebook but has YouTube and you'd like to share these videos with them, well, you can go to my YouTube page and just type in my name or type in uh, um, Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting, and you can look up my videos that way. Amen. All right, well, that about wrap it up for this evening for the Bible reading, and we'll be continuing in 1 Samuel again tomorrow. Amen. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. Until next time, may the Lord richly bless you, and you'll have a great and wonderful rest of your evening. And remember, only Jesus saves, so believe on him. Bye-bye for now.